Well, hey guys, welcome back to the Q&A Friday. So as you can tell from the uh, title of the video, today's Q&A will focus on the most frequently asked questions here on the channel that I continue to get in, in, in high volumes each week. And those are with regards to Adapalene, 0.1% sold now over the counter as the brand, under the brand name Differin. So if you're new here, welcome. I encourage you to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. My name is Andrea. I'm a dermatologist. I post day in the life of a dermatologist vlogs as well as skincare related tips and fun lifestyle videos. So with that, let's get started. The active ingredient in different Adapalene 0.1% is a retinoid. Retinoids have a long standing track record of efficacy in acne. And they do a lot for the skin and acne. They work to unplug pores, help shrink the oil glands, and control inflammation that drives acne. Additionally, retinoids can help with some of the discoloration related to acne. So retinoids include not only adapalene, but also tretinoin and tazeratine. Adapalene, however, is the most well-tolerated of, um, of all three retinoids. Adapalene is very effective for acne. It works on slightly different receptor combinations than the other two retinoids, tretinoin and tazeratine, and therefore, um, and is therefore unlikely to be effective uh, for other things like fine wrinkling and scarring. However, all retinoids, when used consistently, can reverse some of the signs, some of the visible signs of photo damage. What you should know about starting different is that frequently in the first few weeks, the, the acne becomes much worse. Some people refer to this as the purge period. Um, essentially, the acne that is underneath the surface of the skin is sort of coming to a head, if you will, and initially gets a little bit worse. Um, and that generally can occur for around three to four weeks, but sometimes out to six weeks. The second thing that you should know is that because Differin um, is a retinoid, it thins the top layer of the skin and causes some irritation. Um, and that's to be expected. However, with consistent use, the irritation eventually subsides and um, you begin to tolerate it a little bit better. Not only is it breaking down uh, the clogged pores, but it's also getting rid of some sun damaged skin cells and lightly exfoliating the top layer of the skin and kind of retraining those misbehaving cells that, that clog up your pores to act right, okay? So the irritation and peeling while frustrating um, is kind of to be expected and everyone varies in terms of the level of irritation and peeling that, that they experience. Ways to help combat this include applying moisturizer before applying the retinoid. Do not neglect moisturizers. I will um, list in the description box down below some moisturizers that are very well tolerated with this and do not clog pores or worsen acne. Make sure you apply the retinoid at night as sun can potentially render some of the uh, different ineffective. I have a video for you guys that I encourage you to check out and I will link it down below, uh, wherein I um, take you step by step through um, starting different and how much to use and how I applied it step by step. So I encourage you to watch that video. Should I use a sonic cleansing brush before applying uh, to help exfoliate skin cells or to help deal with the dryness and peeling? I would say no and I, I would discourage you from from any efforts to exfoliate the face um, or aggressively scrub your face, um, including using these brushes. I, I know many people are a fan of them, but um, you know they um, when the skin is rubbed, um, it drives inflammation into the skin, and inflammation is a key component in acne. So I, I don't recommend that you do that. Then I also get a fair number of questions about products that can be combined with Differin. Um, so starting out different, I would say try and keep your skincare routine and makeup use to a minimum. Just try and keep things as simple as possible. But once things are okay for you and you're tolerating the irritation all right, and you want to reintroduce some of your, some of your previous over-the-counter acne treatments like benzoyl peroxide containing products or salicylic acid containing products, these ingredients, benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid, are some of my skincare ingredient favorites. Um, I have some videos on these and I'll link them down below as well, but they're also great players in an acne treatment arsenal. Um, these are some things that you should know. So salicylic acid containing things like what's found in 
in Neutrogena Acne Wash, for example. Um, it's fine to use the morning after you have applied the Differin. Um, however, you don't want to apply it to the face at the same time as the Differin, as it can potentially inactivate the Differin. Benzoyl peroxide, however, can be combined with Differin, um, helps uh, reduce the number of, of acne lesions further. The next set of questions that I get is with regards to sunscreen and sun protection while using these. And absolutely, you, you, I cannot overemphasize this enough that you have got to wear sunscreen and protect your skin from the sun, particularly while you're on any, really any treatment for acne because they all pretty much do some level of thinning the top layer of the skin, which increases the amount of sunlight that comes into the skin. And when sun hit this, hits the skin, it drives inflammation in the skin, making the acne worse, and it also leads to discoloration. And that discoloration is uh, can stick around for a long, long time. And if you have a darker skin type, that, that stain can be quite disfiguring to you and bothersome to you. Um, so be very diligent with your sun protection and your sunscreen. My preference is sunscreens that contain zinc or titanium dioxide as they physically block the sun. Chemical-based sunscreens are fine to use, but they tend to be very irritating. So I say just stick with zinc or titanium dioxide. They're far more easy to tolerate. Do know that they do leave that white film, but, but embrace the film. That is a shield against the sun. So, um, And I discourage you from relying on your makeup as a sunscreen because you need to be applying sunscreen to your neck and to your ears. Ears, um, and you know to exposed areas on the upper back for example you're not going to be putting makeup all over these places you're not going to be wanting to reapply your foundation all over these places okay how do you know when it's working generally a few months have to go by of you using the uh, different consistently before uh, um, you will see a marked difference. However, after a few weeks, you will notice some improvement, bearing in mind that during that time, your acne may also be getting worse by virtue of the purge that I mentioned earlier. Um, but it, it generally takes a few, few weeks to start seeing some benefit. Um, and then, you know, after several months, you'll, you'll really start to see a benefit. Um, but bear in mind that you don't need very much of this, and just using it a few nights a week offers the potential to help quite a bit. You just have to use it consistently and be very patient with it and go slow with it. I will say this, that not all acne is created equal. The active ingredient in different adapalene is great for acne, and, but it may not be enough for your acne as a standalone ingredient. Um, so you absolutely should follow along with your dermatologist as best you're able or your primary care provider as best you're able. Uh, because for example, things like hormonal acne um, may not, using a cream may not be enough for you. Uh, furthermore, there, there may be an underlying medical condition that needs to be appropriately evaluated and managed that could be contributing to the acne. For many types of acne, it can be helpful. The other things that you can expect as far as benefits, it does remove some sun damaged skin cells. So you may notice that the skin is a little bit more supple and brighter, softer. It uh, can uh, help to some degree with some discoloration, although not all discoloration. With regards to is Differin good for scarring? Uh, Differin will not uh, necessarily treat an acne scar. Um, we just don't have the we just don't have the data that Differin is helpful for acne scars. Um, probably the best studied retinoid for improving the deeper layers of the skin that contribute to the appearance of a scar is the prescription medication tretinoin. Well, it's available by prescription only here in the United States, but my understanding is that perhaps in your country you can get it over the counter. This is the most well studied and, and has actually demonstrated some benefit in, in acne scarring. Just to set your expectations going in as far as what this um, may offer you. Sagging into questions that I get about Differin and wrinkles and anti-aging. Uh, Differin is not FDA approved for fine wrinkles. Uh, tretinoin, however, is. As I mentioned earlier, Differin works on slightly different receptors um, and is unlikely to be as effective at uh, improving um, uh, the deeper layers of the skin as tretinoin is. Tretinoin just has the most long-term data for that. 
Um, so it's kind of the best one, to be honest with you. Um, however, this is uh, slightly better than the retinols and retinaldehyde type things that are in your cosmeceuticals like Neutrogena Rapid Repair, um, et cetera, et cetera. So kind of thinking about this in a ladder, would, at the bottom of the ladder, I would say are things like retinols that are um, in like Neutrogena's uh, rapid wrinkle repair uh, or the rock formulations um, those sorts of things these are not uh, retinoids in their active state they require the skin to do an additional activation step um, so you know they have been shown to be effective at removing sun damaged skin uh, but they're not uh, it's not consistent um, and there's just not very much data for them to know for sure then the next in line I would say would be uh, different the uh, retinoid in this being adapalene. It works on more superficial receptors in the skin, great for acne, um, but does not uh, likely go deep enough uh, to really help for wrinkles and fine lines, but can improve discoloration and can improve, kind of brighten the skin. So probably next in line. And then a, the second in, in line, just as far as the amount of data we have would be Tazeratine or Tazerac. We do have data that that's helpful for anti-aging and for wrinkles. We do have data that that's helpful for wrinkles, just not as much as we do for tretinoin. Tretinoin is kind of the king um, for, for wrinkles. Tretinoin is also the most irritating. The better they are at addressing your anti-aging kind of concerns and wrinkle concerns, the more irritating they become, okay? Um, so, so know that um, going in, all right? Another question that I get is like, could I combine this with tretinoin, um, you know, do this every other night? And there's really no need to do that. That's just like, Kind of a waste of money in my opinion um so yeah I, there's no data that to show that that's effective or necessary so i wouldn't do that people frequently ask me can i get an eyebrow wax or a facial wax while on different i will say it's a good idea to stop using different about a week before you plan to have any sort of facial waxing plucking or uh, threading because it de because different thins the top layer of the skin and uh, makes you at risk for um, getting uh, too much skin peeled off with with that procedure and too much irritation different is very safe however if you are pregnant nursing or contemplating conceiving you should not use this product all right guys so that's going to conclude the uh, different q a i really thank you guys for all of your fantastic questions about starting different and your engagement here in the channel um and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Next week's Q&A will uh, resume with uh, general topics. So any questions that you'd like for me to address in upcoming Q&As, um, I ask that you, you ask in, in the comments section of this video or in the comments section of future Q&As where I'm most likely to see them um, and, and see them in a uniform manner when I'm, I'm sitting down to, to think about how to address them effectively. Um, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys in my next Q&A. Bye!